Welcome to a lesson on multiplication of polynomials. In example one, we have the product of two monomials. To multiply monomials, we multiply the coefficients, then multiply the variables. So three x to the fifth times negative two x to the ninth would be equal to negative six x raised to the power of five plus nine, so we have x to the fourteenth. When multiplying the variables, because the bases were the same, notice how we added the exponents. Next we have a monomial times a polynomial. So to find this product, we distribute the five x cubed. And because we have four terms inside the parentheses, we'll have four products. One, two, three, and four. So the first product will be five x cubed times two x to the fifth. Well, five times two is ten x to the third times x to the fifth would be x to the power of three plus five, so we have x to the eighth. The next product is five x cubed times negative four x cubed, which would be negative twenty x to the sixth, so we have minus twenty x to the sixth. Next we have five x cubed times negative x, or if it's helpful we can think of this as negative one x to the first, so the product would be negative five x to the fourth, so we have minus five x to the fourth. And then finally we have five x cubed times eight, which would be forty x cubed, so we have plus forty x cubed. Three a, we have a binomial times a binomial. To find that product of two binomials, we want to distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial, so we'll have four products. We first distribute the x into the second binomial here, and then we distribute the three into the second binomial. So when multiplying two binomials, we'll always have four products. Sometimes you'll hear the word foil to remember how to multiply two binomials, but I think it's better to think of this as just repeated distribution. So x times x is equal to x squared. There's our first product. X times four is equal to four x, so we have plus four x. There's our second product. And now we distribute the three. Three times x is three x, so we have plus three x. And finally we have three times four, which equals twelve, so we have plus twelve. But notice how the two middle terms are x terms or like terms. So we need to combine those two. Four x plus three x equals seven x. So our product simplifies to x squared plus seven x plus twelve. In B, we're multiplying two binomials again, so we'll have four products. We first distribute this m here into the second binomial, and then we distribute the negative five. So we have m times m, which equals m squared, and then we have m times negative six, that's negative six m or minus six m. So we just found these two products, and now we distribute the negative five. Negative five times m equals negative five m or minus five m. And then finally we have negative five times negative six, that's positive thirty, so we have plus thirty. Again, the two middle terms are like terms. Negative six m minus five m equals negative eleven m, so we have m squared minus eleven m plus thirty. Part C, again we're multiplying two binomials, so we'll have four products. We first distribute two d, and then we distribute negative four. So two d times three d equals six d squared. Two d times five equals ten d, so plus ten d. Now we distribute negative four. Negative four times three d equals negative twelve d, or minus twelve d. And finally we have negative four times five, that's negative twenty, so we have minus twenty. Combining like terms here, our simplified product is going to be six d squared, and then ten d minus twelve d is negative two d, so we have minus two d minus twenty. Notice for part d we have a binomial times a trinomial, but the process doesn't change here. We want to distribute both terms in the first binomial into the second trinomial. But now we'll have six products. We'll first distribute x, giving us three products and then we'll distribute negative two for three more products. So x times x squared, if we want x to the first times x squared equals x to the third. 
And then we have x times 2x, that's going to be 2x squared or plus 2x squared. So we found these first two products. Then we have x times negative 4, that's negative 4x or minus 4x. And now we distribute negative 2, negative 2 times x squared, that'd be negative 2x squared or minus 2x squared. Negative 2 times 2x, that'd be negative 4x or minus 4x. And then finally we have negative 2 times negative 4, which is positive 8, so we have plus 8. And now combining like terms, notice how we have two x squared terms, and we also have two x terms. So our simplified product is going to be x cubed, and notice how for the x squared terms we have two x squared minus two x squared, which is equal to zero, so these two terms simplify to zero. And then we have negative four x minus four x, that's negative eight x, or minus eight x. And finally we still have plus eight. This should be our simplified product. And now for our last two examples, notice how we're squaring a binomial. There are no shortcuts when squaring a binomial. To find the quantity n plus five squared, we need to write out both factors of the quantity n plus five and find the product like we normally would. It's important to recognize that there's no shortcuts here, meaning the quantity a plus b squared does not equal a squared plus b squared. We cannot just square both terms inside the parentheses because we have addition here. So multiplying these two binomials, we'll have four products. We'll distribute the n, and then we'll distribute the five. So n times n equals n squared. n times five is equal to five n, so plus five n. We distribute the five, we have another five n, since five times n equals five n. And then finally we have five times five, which equals twenty-five. Our two middle terms, again, are like terms. Five n plus five n equals ten n. So we have n squared plus ten n plus twenty-five as our product. For b, there's no shortcuts. We have two factors of three minus two a. And now we'll find our four products. We'll distribute the three and distribute the negative two a. So three times three is equal to nine. Three times negative two a equals negative six a or minus six a. Now we distribute negative two a. Negative two a times three is equal to negative six a or minus six a. And then we have negative two a times negative two a. That's positive four a squared. Combining like terms here, our product is nine, and then we'd have negative 12a plus 4a squared. So this is acceptable for our product, but let's also put our terms in descending order. So I'll write the term first with the highest exponent on a. So I'll write 4a squared first, followed by the a term, followed by our constant. So it is more common to have our polynomials in descending order, as we see here in our last step. Even though this polynomial is equivalent, this would be considered better form. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.